but I dropped this flow frame. Any of the, you have used these flow frames know they are not real sturdy. They do not hold up that well to pounding on the ground. So what you get is this. Pieces and pieces and pieces of flow frame. So what we're going to do here uh, is we're going to put this back together. I have not cleaned this. Some people will clean their flow frames. Um, the bee spent a lot of time getting this flow frame in this condition. Uh, and I believe it is better to leave it the way it is because the bees, I think, will take to it much faster once it's put back together. Besides the smell, I don't know about you, but that wax and that propolis, mmm, I love the smell of wax and propolis. Don't get enough of it this time of year, but it smells fantastic in the uh, shop right now. So, let's get started with this. First off, let me show you the mess I'm dealing with. Okay, this is what I am dealing with here. When it crashed, I have got literally pieces, various of various types, in pieces, I've got wires, a little bit of everything here. Luckily I've got whole sections. So we are going to try to make sense of all of this and put it back together. Like I said, I am not going to clean this because the bees will take to it much faster as it is, and it's not gonna hurt anything. Once I get it back together, I will use the uh, little bar and uh, work the mechanisms to make sure it functions correctly. And we will get started here. And let's, uh, let's begin. So what do you think? Uh, are we going to be able to put uh, the pieces back together? It's kind of like a jigsaw puzzle. You know, you've got your thousand pieces. It's a, uh, it's a rugged uh, uh, sea, uh, ocean scene. And you're just about there. You've spent a week putting this thing back together. And there's one piece missing. Drives you absolutely mad. Let's hope all the pieces are here right now. Uh, we're going to find out. Let's start putting this back together right now, okay? Come join me. Try to fix my mistake, okay? Okay, let's get started with this. As you can see, we have a mess here. Um, what we need first is to find the faceplate. Uh, that's the one there you pull the tabs off the front. Um, this is it here. Here's where the drain plug is. It's missing right here. We need to pull all of these off. We'll save those for later. The drain plug is missing. Uh, we will uh, face those down for now. And we have various pieces, as you can see here. Uh, we have uh, small pieces and we have rather large uh, pieces here. Um, so once we have the first piece and we're facing that outside uh, down, what we're doing is we're taking our, our first piece, which is our, our small piece versus the large one. We're taking the small piece. Now what you have here, oops, turn it the right side, is you have these, see these two uh, spines right here these two ribs that's what you're looking for there now what you have is they have to go right in top see here's there where you put the key in up top here they have to go right in there so that's where they they need to go right there so they can slide the bottom half let's get that 
propolis is giving me some problem, but I will stick the key in when I'm done and break all of that loose. Once you get a slider in, then you stick, you take one of the, uh, the larger pieces. Again, you see the spines. That goes down over top of it. Once you turn it the, right, <laughs> the correct way, again, the round part uh, goes down. You got the round hole, the round part goes down. It's not rocket science, Tim. It goes down. Now that part does not move. You can see through here, yeah, once I get it in place, there, snapped in place. What goes up and down is that inner piece inside here. And those, that's the part that moves within this entire contraption. All those little ribs are gonna be moving inside here. You can see that there. Those ribs will be moving. So now you just continue that process, grabbing, putting them on the right way. Again, that little spine. You lay that in there, and that'll slide. See that slide? And the bigger piece, Square up top, round at the bottom, with the spines, up top. And this is just like a gigantic jigsaw puzzle. And you hope that you don't have a piece missing. And I'm going to cheat. I've got a big section here. that's put together, or still together, I should say. Snap that together. And I'm gonna continue here. Next, I need a slider piece. Let me find one here. And I'm gonna continue with my jigsaw puzzle here. And we can chat. How's your hides doing this winter? Have you been out to check them? Have you cleaned the bottom board? What's up with your bees? I'm anxious to get out there this winter. This spring, I should say. Yeah, this winter. I am, I am anxious to get out there this winter. Uh, this spring swarm season's coming soon. Okay, we continue to build up and up. God, I love the smell of this wax and propolis. I think I said that already. Just a repetition at this point over and over. If you happen to find yourself in this situation, as you can see, it's not a total loss. Don't worry about if you make a mistake I made. You drop one of these, they fall apart, it happens, okay? We all make mistakes, they will go back together. We just gotta persevere. We all make mistakes. And I, for one, make a lot of them. The good thing is, 
you are along for the ride now and you get to watch me make a ton of them. That's the fun part. So hopefully you will not make the same mistakes I make. And if you do or have, you will know how to fix and correct those mistakes. So we are almost at the top here. Okay. Again, don't forget that those spines face the front of the flow frame. And the very last one, it will be a slider piece. That will be the last one to go in. slide back and forth and now the back plate goes on again got the ribs got those two ribs god they make this easy And once again, I am trying to put something on upside down. I am so good at that, aren't I? Both fins have the ribs there. And like a jigsaw puzzle, it only goes together one way. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay this down on the table. the tape out of the way now you can use string various methods I think flow hive shows using string I am just gonna try using old-fashioned tape you've got to hold this together pinch it here Hold it together, turn it over. See a lot of propolis has fallen out. Not a problem. This is just temporarily hold it together until we get the wires on. Okay, that, hold it, tape all the way. Okay, the ideal now is you take the uh, short wire, find the short wire, that goes on the bottom, you do that first. That's the short wire. You start with the back of the unit you have these notches right here let's wrap that wire in those notches now what you're supposed to do is to cross that wire over like like so get that wire crossed I am not going to do that. I have experimented here off camera. And this particular unit, probably because of the propolis, is not going to allow me to do that. So I will have to tighten this wire another way. And we will get this on here. And this is plastic, so I would suggest you be careful. But you are going to have to 
use some method of prying this on here. But in my case here, with that crossed over, there was no way this was gonna go on here. It wasn't happening. So, see, trying to get it down in those, you can see there's grooves again down on this side here, both, both corners here, it has to go down in too. We'll get down into those. Okay, and I will work on getting this tightened up here. So now the top side. We do the same thing for the top side. Let's uh, start the back here. Again, get in those grooves in the back. Flip it around. I'm gonna try it with the cross. Get our cross in there. Just uh, just one, don't need to. The more times you, you twist that, the tighter this is. So if it is loose, you can take these apart, uh, or take the wire off, not the entire thing apart, and you can always twist these things more. That's how you tighten up these flows. So if you have too much flex in these uh, flow frames, you twist these wires. Now, yeah, this one's gonna get over here. So now, this has to go over top of this. Watch your fingers. This is the trickiest part of the reassembly. Almost there. Okay, see how it fits right in that groove there? Okay, now. And remove my tape or your wire whichever way you put it together there Get that tape off of there and other than tightening the bottom of here which I still have to work on you now have a flow frame um, stick my key in here to make sure that uh, works correctly the way it should. There it cracks. Take it in the top half. There, see? Works just the way it should now. Okay, that's how to put a flow flaring back together. It's not totally complicated. We'll come up with another project real soon, hopefully out in the uh, apiary. Uh, weather warming up soon. Spring's come just around the corner. So for now, this is Tim with uh, Southwest Ohio Bees. You have a fantastic day.